Yeah, Kevin, so many of them, too. Of Baseball America's top 100 prospects this season, 10 of them started on big league rosters. It's a record for as long as they've been keeping track. And Bobby Witt Jr., I'm not just saying this because I live in Kansas City. I'm saying this because he is going to be a superstar, is at the top of that list. And we saw it this week, whether it was the game-winning hit, his first big league hit on opening day. Some of the plays he's made at third base have been absolutely incredible. Another uh, two-run double today. I... I I'm not going to say that Bobby Witt Jr. is Manny Machado. What I want to say is he's got a lot of Manny Machado in him, moving from shortstop to third base and starring there. And speaking of stars, the glimmer on the Atlanta Braves World Series ring was absolutely incredible. 755 diamonds, 44 emerald cut, both for Hank Aaron. A gem inside for the landing spot for each of the home runs. A pearl on the side for Jock Peterson. And by the way, Kyle Wright, six shutout innings. Huge for Atlanta going forward. And speaking of huge, Roki Sasaki is a name that you need to know. He's 20 years old. He pitches for the Chiba Latte Marines in Japan, and he is one of the best pitchers in the world right now. Had a 19 strikeout perfect game, the 16th in Japanese baseball history, and the most impressive part of that, beyond the 13 consecutive strikeouts he had, Kevin, 105 pitches for this gem. He's going to be in the big league someday, and he is going to be great. 13 consecutive strikeouts of the Perfecto. Jeff Passan joining us on Baseball Tonight. Jess, history stood out for you this week, huh? Uh, Rachel Bakovac making that history. The first female manager at the professional level. Well, she took on Tampa Bay Tarpons this year um, a couple days ago. And I'll tell you what, Rachel is unbelievably qualified. She's multilingual. She's got degrees all over the place. Was the first strength and conditioning coach, hitting coach, every level. And by the way, she wants to be a GM. She's going to do it. Look out. On her way, right? Also of note, going, going, gone from opening weekend. Kyle Schwarber, new uniform, same result. <laughs> first at bat, leadoff homer. Nine leadoff homers since 2021. Just don't forget what he did last year with the Nationals and everywhere else he went. Going, going, gone. Brought to you by Jim Beam. Tyler O'Neill bringing you a three-run homer on opening day. Sneaky MVP. Look out. I mean, his opening day, not only did he have that, he had three other hits on fire for the Cardinals. Mike Trout going deep, Tim. It's just so good to see him back. Mid-May was the last time we saw him. The game's way better when the best player in the game is playing. Giancarlo Stanton is just pulverizing Red Sox pitching. I just love how his feet are moving all over the place, and yet he just comes down on the baseball, and it gets out of here faster than Six anything Six straight games for Giancarlo. Pete Alonso going deep to Granny. <laughs> that ball made it in the stands by about one row, but he was back <laughs> flipping because that's what we do, and this day and age, I'm good. Joey Bart, first career big league homer. Look out, Buster Posey. Being able to try to fill that void and Joey Bart, a lot of Giants fans excited for what he can do behind the plate and with the bat. And then the best name in Major League Baseball, Seth Beer, opening day. And it was National Beer Day, and he hit a walk-off, the first walk-off homer on opening day ever for the Diamondbacks, hit by a guy named Beer on National Beer Day. Most beautiful game ever. <laughs> Happens all the time. Awfully poetic. Get him a couple of cold ones, right? And we invite you to bring your friends to the one spot with all your favorite free MLB games. Play the hits with Beat the Street, Quick Pick, and more. Visit MLB.com slash play. Download MLB Play today. Buster Only from Yankee Stadium is going to join us. Plus, Web Gems on the way on Baseball Tonight. Rappy Best Rivalry in Baseball. We look forward to Sunday Night Baseball tonight. Welcome inside our Bristol, Connecticut studios with two-time Olympic medalist Jessica Mendoza and the Hall of Famer Tim Kirkshen. Kevin Connors here, and we've gotten off to the start. AL powerhouses, let's continue with even more of that right now. Houston Astros taking on the L.A. Angels, bottom two. The well-traveled Jack Mayfield one night after Mike Trout goes deep for the first time. Mayfield goes deep. Solo home run off Jose Urquidy. The Angels take a 1-0 lead. Meantime, top of the fifth inning, Alex Bregman. What a start to the season it's been for him. Oh, and it's been a long time coming. He's been waiting for this. Talked a lot in the offseason about what he worked on, his plate approach, getting healthy. A rare error, by the way, in center field by Mike Trout. Only his 11th of his career. Bregman homered in the first two games of the season. RBI base hit right there. 2-1 Astros, bottom six. 
Mariners eyeing the sweep in Minnesota after that thrilling comeback walk-off win Saturday. Tim, when healthy, this guy is a superstar. This is Byron Buxton. His last 162 games, he has 44 homers. 44 in the last 162 if he stays healthy. He's a monster offensively and defensively. Still in the first base is loaded. Gary Sanchez, the granny. What I loved about this at bat is that he had two strikes and swung and missed on the changeup. Gets it again. Shortens up enough and then hits this one out. Buxton again, bottom two, five tool guy. There's the power again. Three years ago, he showed up with a new body in spring training. So much bigger in the upper body, and now we're seeing it offensively. And then Carlos Correa, Jess, first dinger is a Twinkie. Oh, and he wanted this. I mean, he had a great defensive play. He talked about trying to get his bat going. Of course, it's so early in the season. He also threw a strike from shallow left field to help keep the Mariners off the board. On the assist, that one traveled 450. Meantime, Guardians and Royals. KC took the first two. Guardians had one run of those two games. Tim, the, the dam just burst today. Yeah, I said before the game, this is a really bad offensive team. They scored 10 runs in the first two <laughs> innings. Thanks a lot. <laughs> They're going to be asking you to say that every day. Yeah, Jose Ramirez, part of a three-hit day. Two batters later, Oscar Mercado, bases juiced. That's gone. One of four grand slams today. The record in one day is six. We still have some time, but four in a day is pretty good. Top of the seventh inning, it's Ramirez again. New contract, Jess, and he was raking today. Oh, did you see the pitch location, too? I mean, this is what I love about Ramirez. You can't figure out where to throw him. This one almost at his chin. Three hits for Ramirez. Cleveland at 22 and all, 17-3. They win big. When we come back, we're talking Aaron Judge. No extension in New York. Marley Rivera with more on that coming up next. So many of the brightest stars in Major League Baseball, and so many have already starred Friday. Opening day, Rafael Devers off Garrett Cole. So the last at bat of last regular season hit a homer. The first at bat of this regular season, he had a home run. The Yankees got a home run off the bat of DJ LeMahieu. They got the Josh Donaldson game winning hit to take the opener 6 5 in 11. Way to make yourself a Yankee there in Episode pinstripes. And then on Saturday, Boston gets off to the big start again. A two-run homer, but again, Rizzo delivers for the Yankees. Uh, two games in a row, and that's exactly what Rizzo did when he came over to the Yankees halfway through the season last year. His first two games, a home run in each one. John Carlos Stanton for the sixth consecutive game against Boston goes deep. Yogi Berra hit a homer in seven straight games against the, the Kansas City in 55-56. The only Yankee to do that. So Stan could do that tonight. Red hot start to the year. All right, time now for tonight's pregame predictions brought to you by DraftKings. Jess, where are you looking tonight? Oh, we just talked about it. Giancarlo Stan. I mean, he's gone six in a row with the home run, and I'm looking more at the RBIs. He might not go long again. I mean, I think that's ridiculous, seven in a row against the Red Sox. But RBIs, I have him on the over. All right, I'm going to go the under on J.D. Martinez getting one and a half total base. J.D. Martinez is a really good hitter, as we know. But Jordan Montgomery has got his number one for 18 with eight strikeouts lifetime against Montgomery. And so every once in a while you run into a guy who knows what you can't hit, and that seems to be the case with Montgomery and Martinez. The Yankees and Red Sox have scored 17 runs in the first two games, eight and a half average. That's where the over-under is on total runs tonight. The Yankees used seven relievers in the opener, six relievers yesterday. They're going to be light on relief pitching tonight. Number three starters going at it. I'm taking the over on that, Yankees and Red Sox tonight. Of course, both of these teams with tremendous lineups. And we remind you, you can get in on the excitement of the MLB season with DraftKings. Sportsbook, same game parlays. Tonight, only all customers can double their winnings up to $500 when you place a same game parlay on the upcoming game. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook and sign up with promo code SHIFT. A look at Xander Bogarts getting ready. The Red Sox. Trying to salvage this series in the Bronx. Kike Hernandez leading things off in center. But what a great start defensively it's been for that Red Sox outfield. Devers batting in the two spot. Bogarts, Martinez, Dahlbeck, Arroyo, Verdugo, Ploiecki, and Jonathan Arad.